It is Tuesday, 12 o'clock. I have work at 1, so I have to close tonight, which is no fun. But it's nice getting up late. So, whatever. I'm not going to complain. Um, just went downstairs to check on our parking. So they're trying to figure it out right now. Um, so hopefully we'll get parking at our own building soon. So then we don't have to walk across the street. And since Kaylee's getting bigger, um, she's been having a harder time moving around. So it'll be good. And then once we have the baby, it'll be really nice that we don't have to walk across the street and up a parking garage. And we're not promised where we're going to park. And it's, it's just been crazy. So took Olive on a walk this morning. Um, it's pretty warm outside, I have to say, but I guess it's even warmer in California right now. A lot of my family were saying it's like 90 in San Diego, which is nuts. Um, feel sorry for you guys. It's not that hot here, but it's kind of humid. Anyways, I'll see you guys later when I get off. Um, Kaylee will be home um, sooner than that, and I guess she'll be filming. She'll have to make her own dinner tonight. Ha ha ha. So, um, she didn't pull anything out, so I'm guessing it's going to be cereal and eggs again and toast probably so uh you'll have to see what that looks like and i'll see you later all right guys she proved me wrong this morning i said <laughs> i said well i'm not cooking tonight so i bet she'll make a uh, cereal or eggs <laughs> so then when i went to work i told her i said did you take anything out for dinner she said, no, why would I take anything out for dinner? And I said, well, what are you going to eat? She's like, probably like cereal or eggs. But she ended up cooking, so it was really good. Well, you know why I cooked something is really, like, the only reason is just so that we'll have lunch tomorrow. Yeah. I didn't even care about dinner tonight, but we've been doing so good taking our lunch. We have not eaten in that food court three weeks. Yeah. It's been three weeks. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud. And you know what? Uh, to be honest with you... I don't miss it at all. Well, I don't necessarily like miss it, but certain times like I want something like that, but it's going to make it so much better when I do just do it once. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it sh eating out should be like more of like a treat, not like a necessity to feed yourself. Yep, I agree. And I don't know, I've just been enjoying the food that we take for lunch is so much better. And I feel so much better. I do feel after a lot lunch. better. Except today, oh my gosh, I had a really rough day, you guys. A really, I had a bad day. I was like in a bad mood, and I just had a bad day. But I'm allowed <laughs> to, okay? <laughs> First of all, work is getting super stressful just because it's getting really busy, and we have this huge promotion coming up, so it's gonna get even busier. So that's kind of stressful for me. Plus I'm just getting huge and uncomfortable and being at work is like the last place I want to be. So that's kind of overwhelming. I was at work half an hour late today just trying to catch up on stuff because it's been so busy. And then, so I came home in a bad mood. I didn't get home until seven o'clock. And then I knew I had to turn around and pick Josh up at nine. What? But his brother came to the day, came mm. to save the day. And um, his brother picked him up for me, so I didn't have to, which was Aww. really nice. Are you like the sound effects man? Yeah. Did you talk about the good thing that happened today, though? No. You didn't? Nope. I took video before. Oh. oh wait, wait, wait. I don't remember. Maybe Josh not. doesn't remember if he told you guys this, but we've been trying to get a parking spot in our building for like five years. When did we move into this place? In, five like, years November? ago. November. Okay, so since November, <laughs> we've been on a waiting list for a parking place, and we finally, today, got a dang parking spot. So, hallelujah. <laughs> that seriously is like the best news for me because it was getting extremely exhausting for us. We were walking like down the block to a parking garage and sometimes we had to park on the third floor, the fifth floor, the second floor. You had to always remember what floor you were on. It was, I hated it. And it was expensive. So now we're saving money and we have a spot at our building. It's the same spot every dang time. So thanks, Josh. He went to the office today and he punched him in the face. No, and seriously, made them. this guy, he had like a desk like this. And, I, and he had all these papers and I just went, <laughs> and, I, and they went, 
all over the thing, <laughs> went all over the place. So then he got really mad, he jumped up on the table, and for some reason he ripped his shirt off like he wanted to fight. So then when he ripped his shirt off, I knew it was time to fight. <laughs> so then we did that thing, like, film me, film me. We did that thing where it's like, come on, let's fight. We were like pressing up, you know, like, and then it got a little awkward after nobody like threw the fruit first punch. And so then, um, it's weird, somebody came in and said, hey, uh, I'm moving out, you can have 205 if you want. He said, do you want 205? I said, sure. And then, just let, I helped him pick up the papers, and then I left. Sometimes you gotta get really angry, and be irrational, and it works. Okay, so now tell the real story. So I walked in there, and he said, hey, um, I'm doing it right now, can I get your phone number? And I'll call you when I'm done, it'll probably take an hour. I said, yeah, or he said, I'll, can you come back in an hour? I said, actually, I have to go to work. So then I told him my phone number. And then I walked up to the unit, and then he called me. One of those stories is real, and one of them is fake. <laughs> so I'll let you guys guess who. Hey, I just want to say, I've been reading comments today. You guys are really... You jumped on my bandwagon. You're saying dates, times, weights. I'm still right. So I'm not going to say that you're wrong yet, but I'm the there's going to be one that's right. Can I say something? Oh wait, but I want to say something. I just want to say, I like the people that are guessing that I go a little bit early and that I have a six pound baby. I like those. <laughs> I like those guesses. You don't like the, um, like, July 4th, 50 pound baby? No. Oh. I'm hoping um, she's but not. But here's a, a funny story. <clears throat> um, during work I checked um, our YouTube and I saw that you guys had made comments on there. And then, uh... One of my coworkers, um, she got off early, so then she left and she went home. And then all of a sudden, I got a text, and it just had the weight, the time, and the date, or you know, like date, time, weight, and then her thing in capital said free scout. So, <laughs> Suzette, you know who you are, but I really do want to make sure it's a safe free scout. I'm like out of breath just from standing there. Filming. You know what it is? It's because I notice when you're doing this, you don't breathe. What? You gotta breathe. I do breathe. You know, I almost like passed out in the shower and I thought, I wonder if I should like take a shower with the door. At least probably I should leave the door unlocked. Right? What if I like die in the shower? And <laughs> yeah, door open. <laughs> if the door's open, you know who's gonna join you. Oh, uh, but yeah, I can't leave it open because Olive would totally get in. But I'll probably, I'll start leaving it unlocked because that could be like a dangerous thing. Yeah. Um, but anyways, my new symptom is, I think it's heartburn. Gas? No. I think it's heartburn. It's right here, guys. Right, right there. <laughs> it's like, it, I told Josh, it feels like a knife on fire and somebody's stabbing me and s twisting it around. I don't know if that's heartburn or maybe then, it's acid reflex. And I looked at my belly, my bare belly in the mirror tonight and I was just like, holy moly, how can this thing stretch anymore? What? Do you remember what your belly looked like before? To get to this point is already pretty crazy. I know. And I mean that completely in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> I just... I mean that completely in a completely non-offensive, you're beautiful... You guys, Josh never offends me, just so you know. I know he loves me. Alright, Ollie Poo, have you been in the video today? I don't know if you have. Oh. Oh. Give Josh a kiss. Give him a kiss. You know what your breath smells like? Give him a kiss. Salmon and sweet potatoes. <laughs> Josh put Olive in a trance. She's asleep. Standing up. <laughs> oh, oh, wake up. All right, you guys, I'm gonna say good night. I had a rough day. I am more than ready to go to bed. Um, tomorrow, Josh closes again. I wanna shout out to my, okay, Ashley is my second cousin, but we just always, I just always consider her a cousin. So her daughter, Claire, has been watching our videos. So I wanna shout out to Claire. Hi, Claire. Claire, come visit us with your new little baby sister. <laughs> we need to go visit them after after um, 
That'll be fun. We'll have to get a picture because Ashley and I took a picture of our bellies together. So you guys should hold the babies So then together. we'll hold the babies and we'll put our babies together. So she just had a little girl and they named her Pearl. So it's pretty exciting. I always see their pictures and they're pretty cute together. So. I know, Claire always has the hugest <laughs> smile on her face when she's holding Pearl. I know, it'll, it'll be fun to watch them grow up together. I know. Well, thank you guys for watching tonight's vlog. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Tell me, encourage me that I can hang in there for the next seven weeks. <laughs> Good night. I almost threw up. <laughs> <laughs>